pipes around the house. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Fisher Price Infant to Toddler Rocker, and I'll give you a quick overview and product demonstration. So, you should have two of these, four of these, two of these, two of these, two of these, and one of these. One of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. First thing to do is take this part of the rocker and take this part. You'll see that bit has one hole and this bit has two holes. Then locate this part inside that hole. And then if you turn that around, you'll see that this part just slides over the top. Like that. Then you need to do exactly the same with the other two corresponding parts. Then take the two parts we just assembled place them together, so that goes into there, taking our long screw, push through the side of the leg, place into the white plastic part, and secure with a Phillips screwdriver. Then do exactly the same to the other side, so that you get your two pieces secured together like this. If I just tilt the rocker up, just take the curve piece, turn it round, push it into the back of the rocker, and these just slot into place using these ball bearing like clips. Now if we just turn the rocker around, you can see these two holes, and we need to place the kickstand into there. Take your kickstand, turn it round, and place it through the two holes. Then take our large screws, place those through the hole, push them right the way through, that will secure the kickstand and then tighten into the thread just by there. Again take your other large screw and do the same to the other side. So now we've secured the kickstand, this should be able to fold out and back again. Then we need to take this piece, face the curved bit of bar towards the front, locate it into place in front of the holes, then we take our plastic piece with the wide end facing forwards, push that over the metal and tighten our short screws into place. So plastic bit, wide end facing forward towards the front of the rocker, place it over the metal bar, then take your short screw, place that from the outside of the rocker, pushing it inwards, locate it into the plastic piece, then use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten up. Then we do exactly the same to the other side. This is a good time to now remove the battery cover and place your batteries inside here. Just unscrew the screws with your Phillips screwdriver and take off the battery lid. In order to run the vibrate function on the rocker, you need to insert one D size battery. Place the battery inside the rocker and just replace the lid and screw down. Finally, you need to take a cover, place this piece here over the back of the rocker, then take the front of the cover with this hole, locate that over the plastic bit of the rocker and push the cover into place. If you turn the rocker around, you just want to push these straps into these clips by here. And then locate this clip into there. Then take this piece and just clip into the holes on the side, like that. So this rocker napper is really simple to put together. First of all, we've got this bit here, which is for the toddler to hit around and play with. This can simply be removed by placing these clips inwards and removing that out, just like that. When your toddler's inside the rock and napper, you simply strap them in by placing this between the legs. Take your clips and just place them into there like that. Do exactly the same on the other side, and it's that simple. If you're putting a newborn into the rocker, you simply take this and place it through the slot in the seat and pull it underneath. If you turn this upside down, you just slot this underneath the strap 
and fold it over. If you look to the side of the rocker, you've got a button there and a button there. If you press these buttons, you can adjust the rocker into two positions. This will give you a more upright seated position or a slightly more reclined position. If you look on the front of the napper, you've got this adjustable leg. Pull that out. This brings the front of the napper up, allowing your toddler to lie flat if having a nap. If you look on the front of the rocker, you've got the on-off switch and this turns on the vibrate function. In my view, I think this napper is perfect for your newborn up to about six months. I think from six months onwards, I would maybe give preference then to the Tiny Love 3-in-1 Rocker Napper. Personally, I think this is a great product. This rocker is even suitable for dogs. Isn't that right, boy? For more DIY, how-to, household tips and product review, please watch my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I've been Pouse Around the House. Ta-ta! Farewell!